Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we're doing a yin yoga class to improve your digestion. So please come to a comfortable seating position, cross-legged or kneeling. Maybe sit up on a block if that's more comfortable for you. And we begin with alternate nostril breathing. So sit up nice and tall, shoulders glide down and back. Taking this first moment to consciously be aware of our breath and how we're feeling right now in this moment. Just noticing it without judgment. Just taking a mental note. Maybe look at me for reference. I will demonstrate alternate nostril breathing. Bring your right hand with the index and middle finger tucked into the palm, others extended. Like so. And then block off your right nostril with your thumb, inhaling through the left for a count of three or four. And then sealing the left, open the right and exhale out the right for a count of three or four. And then back in the right. Blocking the right and then exhaling out through the left nostril. So join me if you haven't already. Inhale through the left. Blocking left. Exhaling out through the right. And once more, inhale right. We'll continue like that for a few more rounds, so go on your own pace. Let go of the breathing exercise, both hands resting on your knees, and come back to your natural breath. Stress really impacts the functioning of the digestive system into the parasympathetic rest and digest mode.
Next we'll transition to a yogi squat. So come onto your feet, maybe into a little standing position. Turn your heels in slightly, toes out and then drop your hips back down. Hands together in front of the heart, pushing into the knees with your elbows. Slightly, crown of the head lifts up. And if you can't come all the way down because it feels like a bit too much, you can always sit up on a block on any level that works for you. Find your edge and then remain to be still. Try to get a sense of the grounding energy that this pose brings with it. And if your mind begins to wander, always focus back on your breath.
Let's make our way out of this pose. Release. And then come to lie down on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the mat. When you're ready, bring your knees towards your chest, wrapping your arms around your knees so you can either hold on to opposite elbows or the wrists. Keep your shoulders and head down on the ground and if you feel uncomfortable in any way here, feel free to place a pillow or a rolled up blanket under your head. Or you could also pad your spine with a blanket. I know for me, the floor sometimes feels just a bit too hard. Imagine tension and stress melting away with every breath that you take. Slowly come out of the pose and let go of your knees. Make your way back up to seating. Next we'll do a supported twist using the bolster or a dense pillow. So lay it lengthwise on your mat and sit with the right side of your hip right against the bolster like so. And from here you're going to lower down on your bolster with your chest facing towards the bolster. The head can either face to the same direction as your knees or to opposite direction which makes it more intense to come into this gentle twist. We don't want any tension in the neck, so if it feels too much to look to the opposite side, 
just turn your face to the same side as your knees. Twists are really great for improving digestion, as they offer a gentle compression of the stomach. So really try to let go and fully be supported by your props. Keep the head heavy, only using your hands to press up from your prop. Right away switching to the other side, so at home you can ju just turn with your knees in the other direction, with the left hip up against your support, and then gently folding down, chest facing towards your bolster or dense pillow. Again, try out which head variation feels best for you, with or without an additional padding for your head. Maybe put a pillow underneath to make it even more restorative. And your palms can come to touch in a diamond shape on the floor.
Take deep belly breaths in and out through the nose and start to feel this inner sense, deep sense of peace. Push into your hands to come off your bolster or pillow. Remove the bolster if you had it, put it off to the side, we won't need it anymore. For our last pose we're going to use the wall for legs up the wall. So bring your hips close to the wall, lay them back down. And taking the legs straight up. Arms relax by your side and fully rest here. Let the energy flow down and maybe place one hand on the belly and one hand on your chest if you want to. Every inhale you can think I am and every exhale at ease. So inhale I am, exhale at ease, I am at ease.
come out, bend the knees and roll to the side. Maybe hug the knees in towards your chest. Roll over to the side. And now we will come into our final resting position, which is Shavasana. So come down to lie on your back again. Straighten your legs, arms go out to the sides. And just rest here, allowing this time for you to just be. Knowing there's nothing to do and no other place to be, but right here in this moment. Slowly begin to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes. Reach the arms up overhead in a big stretch and then draw one leg into the chest and then the other. Rolling over to your right side and press yourself back up, coming into a comfortable seating position, so kneeling or cross-legged. Palms meet together in front of the heart and may you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. Pra practice again with you soon. Namaste.